Hey, how's it going, everybody? Mr. Your Willy here for another episode of Season 3. I have a lot I want to try and accomplish today. First things first, though, I have a letter I wish to read. Willie, can't you put the add-on for your texture pack in the zip files and post a link to it so that we can drag the files in and we can get textures you use? The spa I can never say that one. The Spax texture pack allows you allows that so people can have modded textures for, you know, tech it and feed the beast. Ask Drunken Sniper. Yeah, literally that line was way too much for this whole se I don't like how there's this big gap. <laughs> but uh no, um, on their website, the original te Mod Textures guy's website, it states that you cannot distribute the texture pack yourself in whole or in part, which this would be in part. It even says that if you modify it for things like texture packs or server packs or your own mod pack, you cannot distribute it yourself either. If it's for a server, you have to link the original forum page for people to download directly from him, and so on and so forth. So no, I uh, sadly, I cannot, I mean, I technically could, sure, if I wanted to ignore his, his request, but I'm not gonna do that. So sadly, I can't give you guys the updated version of this texture pack at all. It's uh, rude for me to, and he simply requests that I don't, so I'm not going to. But on his website, there's a link. I'm go ahead and show the 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 picture on the screen here. There's a section for modded textures or whatever. The very bottom of that segment is a download link to a mod pack texture thing, which is basically a compilation of a whole bunch of people. What they do is they mod. Uh, or they basically add textures for a specific mod and submit it to them. If they like it, they'll add it to this pack. They actually have a Feed the Beast pack. It doesn't have all of the mods in it, but it has uh, a good majority of it. Download that instead and use what you will. Now, granted, it's not up to date. There's a lot of things that's been added to these mods that, that those texture packs don't have textures for. And so I did th that uh, exact thing. As you can see, my backpack here is a briefcase. My tree tap is this weird tree tappy thing. And the rubber tree actually has its own texture pack as well. Um, but, you know, things like the pocket crafter and all that doesn't. Um, things like the thermal expansion machines actually have their things changed, but the inventory isn't where these are, you know, the GUIs aren't changed or anything. But they have textures as well. Um, Why did you... Oh, I don't have enough energy. The the build craft pipes have been changed, um, so on and so forth. But I basically took, as you can see, that is not changed yet. Um, Soul for goo, but <coughs> a lot of their items has been modified. Let me see if I can find some more. Um, Red power, not all their things are like the alloy furnace looks the same. Sawmill's been changed. All the dusts. That kind of stuff. I took their download and added it to what I was already working on because I didn't realize that they had one that was already completed. And so things like my sulfur torches, those are still my sulfur torches. I made this in Photoshop using a combination, like I said, of their torches to make it look so awesome. Their, uh, their texture pack does not have this. Um, a lot of other things like the Buildcraft pipes, I changed theirs to, this was had like a, a plus in the middle. I cleared it out so that you could see the items a little bit better. Um, so I basically merged theirs with mine, used what I liked of mine, used what I liked of theirs, modified theirs to match my style, so on and so forth. So it's kind of like a mixture of all of, oh, I didn't realize that there's a little nub here on one of the textures. I should fix that. But <laughs> I, just, I just realized that. Um, you probably won't even notice because I don't have that item crafted yet. But um, let me know. Do you want me to keep it with the mixed texture pack? You know, showing you the th thermal expansion stuff. Or do you not like that? Does the original one that I was using in the last episode look perfectly fine? Oh, it's raining. I hate rain. Rain's annoying. Um, let me know. Because I can always backtrack and use the previous version of this texture pack. Uh, where all these thermal expansion machines and... 
all that stuff has been changed. Also, all the ores have been changed, like the ruby and night not, and Nicolite and all that has been changed, not the Zycraft or Thong stuff. They haven't, they don't have stuff for that. But, um, oh, here's a good example of uh, changes. Uh, the Electric Drill, for instance, has been changed. The ores have also been changed. So the ores look a lot more like they would in a natural environment in this texture pack. Also, all the bee stuff has been changed, too. So, like I said, if you want... I can keep this the way it is. That's perfectly fine. And I still want to do slight changes. I uh, like uranium. That I changed because I like the uranium or better than their ver than the vanilla version of the uranium. But I changed all the ingots back to the default because I like the default ingots better. But the dust, I like the dust better. So, you know, I kind of mixed and matched. Um, let me know if you guys like this whole mixed and matched system or if... Um, you would rather I did um, the previous version, and I'll I'll change it to whatever one you guys like better. Oh yeah, also the red power. Some of the tools have been changed, but not everything. But yeah, today. Sorry about that whole long introduction -y thingy, but I did want to let you guys know what's been going on. Today we're going to put all of this stuff in the other room hopefully but like i said i have some items that i need to craft so let me get going on that right now first things first i need to figure out where my mine is i always lose it up oh, there it is uh, i'm still using the same old mine that i was before uh nothing special uh am i on i shouldn't be on peaceful uh, i guess i am hmm, let me change that back I was in creative, and sometimes I forget to change it to peaceful. Dead end. Remember redstone or redstone lamp torchy thingy? Yes, that item that is made from vanilla stuff that I totally know the name of because I use it oh so much. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the ores. For instance, this is not iron. This is copper. At least it should be. Oh, it went into my uh, miner's backpack. Uh, copper. But things like silver ore hasn't been changed and appetite and all that I changed back so yes um, it kind of looks I don't know if it looks better oh you know I should probably put that instead ah dang you moving me back so far that I can't put anything in the way meh there but uh let me know what you guys think and I will change it accordingly but I need to get something down here in the mines before I can continue with my build. So I'm going to quickly do... Yeah, some of the stone doesn't match my stone, which is kind of interesting. And there's like three versions of stone. There's like that version of stone, and then there's that version of stone, and then there's that version of stone. And then there's my version of stone. So I might fix that if we keep this texture pack. Or I'll revert it back. Who knows? Still don't like the gravel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh see you guys in a bit so i'm here in the mines and i wanted to show you something this looks like redstone this looks like redstone but this is blinking this actually is yeah redstone let's see if i can get non-stuck there bah, I hate water in my way <laughs> um so that is the redstone this looks like coal but i believe yep that's cool there's tungsten too which looks exactly like that but if it's blinking with this texture pack, it is redstone. If it's not blinking, it's actually rubies. So that's something that I wanted to point out to you guys that they kind of use the person who made the red power textures. Yeah, there's Nicolite. Just kind of use the redstone texture for that. So it kind of throws you off. I think this is all coal. Yep. Don't want to fall down there. That would be horrible. I think this is iron or copper. It's one or the other. So, anyways, I came all the way down here because I need some good old obsidian. Obsidian. And obsidian is, well, unminable by redstone. Ruby pickaxes. Only diamond things can mine obsidian. Hence why I needed to get a diamond pickaxe. So I should. Yep, there we go get one I'll collect a little bit of it I'm not sure 
if this whole th I don't think this whole thing's a one floor but oh sure there's a little bit I should probably get like efficiency or whatever it is that makes you like mine faster actually I don't know if you can actually enchant a, di a diamond drill now that I think about it I don't think you can so maybe I'll have to get like a diamond pickaxe and enchant it like with uber stuff or something and one more I think that way I have some reserved actually yeah Seven's good for now. I'm not making a nether... I thought I picked that up. A nether gate or anything. Um, but eventually I will be. And so it will be nice to get some more nether rack. Hey, zombie. That's floating. Floating zombie. Rawr, rawr, zombie. I'm zombie. Angry face. Eat brains. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's stop this water too. Stop! Hammer time. Okay. I'm going to make my way back to the surface, and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, we're back at the main house. I wanted to point out, this is tin cans. This is bowls. They look the same, because he just used the, well, can thing for tin cans. Hmm. See, some of these things I'll probably change. There's copper, all insulated copper wiring, by the way, and this is a sickle. Looks like a scythe. <laughs> Scythe. Ah, ah. All right. Um, so what I need to do is put this obsidian that I have so delicately gathered. This is still uh, in uh, smelting it into the pulverizer. So stop with the stone pulverizing. I'm gonna take the iron out. Put it in here. Got a good amount of stuff, got some sawdust from the wood. Also got a few rich slag, which I showed you kind of what the use of that was before. So that's, um... Oh yeah, even the interface in here has changed. Uh, let's not output. Yeah, that's fine, we, we'll do that. Uh, and put the obsidian in here. And the obsidian will slowly grind up. That's interesting. Wonder why that interface is like that when there's a bar here. But uh come on you. Time's a wasting. You can do it. There we go. Gives you some pulverized obsidian. I need quite a bit of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more in that. And let me just wait for that to happen and I'll be back. By the way, that's what tungsten looks like. It looks very similar to coal. Not exactly. See, coal's that and tungsten's that, but I can see where you could get those two mixed up. I'm in the middle of looking for one more material just because the way I'm getting it right now is very slow. But the thing is, I don't even remember running into it at all, which is why I'm using the little hint thing at the side to show me what all these materials are because I have a feeling, oh, nope, there is some. There we are. Ferris ore, oh, only one, geez. This stuff is like super rare then. <laughs> Cause I like, I don't even remember running into it at all. Um, but there was one. So I'm, I'm gonna hunt some more down. But uh, it's kind of like a yellowish looking thing. It looks like it hasn't been changed yet cause it's using my version of the ore. Basically, no, nah, sorry, I have the hiccups right now. And I don't know why, but um, oh, there it is. Uh, not all their ores have been changed. So I did a combination of theirs and mine. Whenever mine was changed and theirs was not, I used my version of the uh, mod uh, items. If theirs was changed and I didn't like theirs as much, then I kept mine. Um, but I don't think I can remember any that are like that really. Uh, most of them are, they have been changed um, and I actually thought it was good enough to at least show you guys. I'm going to try and find a little bit more. What level am I at? I wonder. Uh, unfortunately, maps and this doesn't work well together. So I'm about at the diamond layer. It looks like that's about the layer you find this stuff at. I don't think I've been this direction at all. We have. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm also grinding some stuff up in the, uh, up above. So, I think I'm almost on my way back. But anyways, just wanted to let you guys know um, what I was up to and all that good stuff. I guess this is where I found the diamonds. 
Okay, I should have everything I need. I'm just pulverizing some copper instead of putting it through this guy because the induction smelter does give me double ore, but this has a 10% chance of getting me some uh, for, uh, ferrous metal. Now, ferrous metals, as you saw, is very rare. Um, I was only able to find, I think, five ore naturally, uh, which obviously I put in the pulverizer side, so doubled it, giving me 10. So that means I only got about three so far from pulverizing uh, stack and nine extra iron. So that's quite a lot of iron. So as you can see, I have tons of dust, which that's what the dust looks like in this mod uh, pack. And the dust, I can put through the power furnace or I can put through the induction smelter. Now, the induction smelter, two, plus a sand, gives me gold plus slag. Now, slag isn't super useful to me. I don't really need it. So I'm going to put it through the powered furnace. Rich slag, on the other hand, is useful to me. This is useful. Normal slag, not so much. So I'm also going to put the, uh, actually, before I do that, let me, uh, I should probably just output this through the back there. Um, let me put the pulverized ferrous metals in here and get that first too. Because I need that a little bit more. Um, and so I got this. Perfect. Now, um, you, induction smelter, remove that. If I put pulverized obsidian in one side, plus, do I have it? Yep lead I believe on the other side this should get me there we go there you go that'll cook up and get me some hardened glass so I need four batches of hardened glass each one gives me two hardened glass so that's enough for a start now, hardened glass like so, plus a diamond in the middle, so it's not a cheap recipe, plus uh, this ferrous ingots along the side will get me, hmm, I thought it was a ferrous. Maybe it's the other one. Hold on. Let's just double check the recipe here. Oh, electrum, shoot. I thought it was ferrous. Electrum ingots are crafted how? Electrum blend, which is, I think I've done the electrum blend before. Pol gold dust plus silver dust. Oh, well, oh, I didn't need the ferrous then. <sighs> gold plus silver. I have silver in here. I actually have silver ingots, I think. No, I don't. All right, pulverizer, time to get you some more fuel. <laughs> All right, um, so pulverize this and turn off you for now because you're just going to waste fuel. Uh, pulverize gold. Okay, so I have one pulverized gold. Silly me, I, I just looked at it. I didn't actually hover over, so I thought it was this stuff. My apologies, folks. And there you are, silver. So that plus that equals two electrum blend. And obviously, each electrum blend will give me an electrum ingot. And I need, once again, four. Hence why I needed another silver dust. There you are. Silver dust plus another gold dust, which should be popping in here soon. It'll give me an electrum ingot for the smelting here. That's taking its own sweet time. There it comes, slowly but surely. All right, so more electrum dust. I'll just leave there gold. More electrum blend, please. Put that in there. This stuff is slowly getting. Now remember, the, the more energy you have, the faster it is, which is why this is taking a while, because I let its energy die. And I also need more glass, so perfect. Um, and I only need one diamond, so I'm just going to toss that in there. Doo -doo -doo -doo, waiting for two more. Doom, 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 doom. Which is kind of nice. I wish I knew that earlier, because this is a much cheaper recipe uh, now. I mean, yeah, it costs a diamond, so it's not a cheap recipe. 
but it's easier to acquire than getting this uh, the phosphorus ingots, which I can use this for other stuff too. So it's not a bad thing that I went hunting for it. It just would have saved me a lot of time. There we go. An energy cell frame. Woohoo! Step one. But this isn't very useful as it is, right? So what I'm going to need, which I didn't craft yet, I don't believe. I'm going to need one more recipe from uh, thermal expansion. So I'm going to let that heat up. All right, we are back. I went ahead and gathered most of the materials. So we need two bricks for one. Also, we need uh, gold with two redstone, which makes the redstone reception coil, which is um, obviously uh, used for receiving redstone energy-ish stuff. Just wanted to show you it has a different look to it because of this texture pack uh, add-on. Um, same with like the machine frames, bucket, I believe it's too copper. No, it's not too copper. What is it? I have the thing right here. I'm trying to make a magma copper. Redstone reception. Bucket. Bucket. Machine frame. Huh. How was... Copper, copper. Uh, I'm missing something here. Bucket, machine frame. Nether oh, it's nether brick, not normal. Wow, nether brick looks just like normal brick. Oh, that threw me off. That texture pack thing. Ah, crud. Duh. That's annoying. I thought it was normal brick the whole time because that looks almost... Uh, uh, I get for not reading. Be right back. All right, I'm just looking for my flint, which I should have some, because I swear I've seen it, but it must be out. There we are, that's where I saw it. So flint, uh, and obviously you guys know how to make this. I'm just gonna quickly toss all that down there. But um, flint is steel, makes me a lighter here. And just for the sake of making things easier, I'm just going to make the portal right here in my living room. This will totally be moved. Oops, I didn't want those. Ah, shoot. But uh, I apologize. I thought it was bricks, else I would have made another portal. Um, with this texture pack, it's really hard for me to tell the difference between those two. And so I wasn't able to realize that, oh, it's uh, it's not that. But uh, let's go ahead and light the portal and uh, cross our fingers that nothing horrible is awaiting us on the other side. I'm even gonna put my backpack in here. What don't I really need? Flint, I can keep that. Everything else is kind of expendable. And I'm going to quickly run, hopefully find a nether fortress, and we will... Oh, there we go. Quickly find another fortress. <laughs> I don't even have to go all that far. There we go. <laughs> that was the easiest visit to the nether I think I've ever had. Lava is still falling before I even leave. Okay, now I think I can just like put something in the way. No, I actually need to. <sighs> Fine. I will. I know I'm taking a water source block, but I'll put it back, I promise. There. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> where were we? Oh yes, we were in the middle of showing you how to craft something very important. That's awesome. Totally did not get side distracted at all. I promise. So anyways, another brick, not normal brick, which looks almost identical. Like literally, I'm thinking about changing the nether brick texture because they look identical. Uh, bucket on top, machine frame, Redstone reception, copper. 
There we go. A magma crucible. ball. Now, I need the crescent wrench. By the way, they have a crescent wrench texture. I didn't like it, so I changed it to my own. So, this is the magma crucible. Magma crucible can melt things into lava. Hence, magma crucible. It can also melt icy things into water. It can also turn redstone into liquid redstone, molten redstone, which is what I'm going to do with all this redstone that I have accumulated. And as you can see, it'll slowly go across. Obviously, the more energy, the faster it will go, but it's not that slow, even with all this. And it takes a while. As you can see, one mat, uh, one liquid redstone is 50, or two is 50. So it's gonna take, oh, 10 redstone to get, I think, a bucket's worth of liquid redstone. And I'm surprised it's still not even showing up. I wonder why that's so low. I thought it was higher than that. Maybe he changed the recipe. He probably changed the recipe. But I'm gonna let this stuff melt away. And then once I get enough liquid redstone, I will uh, show you what I'm gonna do with it. Hint. So I let this thing go pretty much all the way to the top. And, you know, it's melting up the redstone here as fast as it can. Um, not sure how much I need, but definitely slowing down now. I think I was running at 30 when I first started because I was full. Now I'm at half that. But there's one more thing that I need to craft. And that is a... Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I think it is not the transporter. Liquid transporter. Uh, which requires a bucket, some copper, and some normal glass, and a machine frame. That's easy. I should even have enough... Uh... There we go. I was going to say, I should have enough iron in here. Alright, so obviously a bucket. Now the machine frame, you guys have seen me crafting plenty of times by now. Let's go ahead and whip that out. And then let's go ahead and get... I think it was a reception coil. I'm crossing my fingers it was, so I don't have to redo this. And bucket, machine frame, more glass, and copper is the liquid transposer. Now the liquid transposer is an awesome machine. It does absolutely nothing by itself. Sweet. But what it does do is transport, um, can I take that off with, there we go. Uh, it does allow me to transpose liquids from one source to another. So uh, I do not want that to be the output. I want that to be the input. Uh, actually, let's just turn that off for now. Let's turn off all the sides. So it allows me to do stuff like grab a bucket here. Allows me to use this, oh shoot. Yeah, I basically put water or liquid in it. If I click this button, it'll switch this icon back and forth. If it's in this mode, it will take the water and put it into the bucket. If it's in this mode, it'll take the bucket of water and put it into the machine. So it's a very nice way of being able to input, oh, come on. Oh, it has no energy probably. <laughs> I drained the energy. You can do it. There we go. So, and it actually has that cool little interface when it's working. And then when it's done working, uh, it the liquid look to it goes away. Let's remove that. There we go. Took a little bit for it to update. But anyways, what I'm going to use this for is to take this liquid redstone here and put it into this machine here. So, all we have to do is tell it to output on the side here. And then tell this to input on this side. And there you go. Puts the buckets of uh, liquid redstone directly into the machine. Go ahead and just melt up some more here. Now, I probably don't have enough, but let's try it. This is an empty energy cell. We want it to be filled. It even says energy cell frame empty. We want to fill it with liquid redstone. So if we put it in here, it will hopefully... 
Nah, I don't have enough. I think I need at least one bucket worth. So, two more redstone crossing fingers. But like I said, I probably don't have enough. I'll probably have to have this thing running for a while. Let's see. Nope, not enough. We'll be back when we have enough. All right. Sorry about all the delays and stuff. It is a bucket. I had to check the recipe. It's just I didn't have enough energy. I was literally a, shot, uh, a bit shy of it. So if I put this in here, it will quickly take this molten uh, redstone and put it into the energy frame. While that's going on, I actually need, there we go, some pulverized gold and some pulverized silver because I need some more electrum blam 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 bam 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 smash. Uh, I think I need uh, f at least that much, maybe actually a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and just turn the rest of this into Electrum Blend. And I don't have my pulverizer, but I'm not using this, which is kind of sucky because that's a lot of energy. But I don't need that anymore, right now at least. But yes, that is a lot of energy that I just wasted. But I don't have any, well, I guess I had a gold conductivity pipe. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. The deed is done. <laughs> And let's go ahead and just put some of this in. Actually, heck, we will not put anything there. And I'm going to just do this the old school way because I feel like it. Let's put that in there and cook up some of that. Okay, so this should be done by now. There we go, an energy frame. This by itself can't do anything. It's basically just a normal item of, well, being an item. What you need is some of this Electrum ingots wrapped around it. Come on, you. Almost there. Two. I need, I think, three. Let me just double check the recipe here. So three Electrum ingots, a redstone, and some lead. And I actually should probably make that, uh, what is it again? It's not the, okay, so it's this Electrum ingot. Ah, so I need another one. A lot of this stuff. Okay, let's put some right around it. So these obviously transmit where this receives. That's the difference between those two. So then we'll put this here, put that there, get that, and I need some more lead. It's where I had lead. Ah, I do. I just didn't have any more in here. So there we go. And this will give me a redstone energy cell. As you can see right there, it says there's a charge. Obviously, it stores energy. It's kind of like a battery. It can send and receive energy by settings, and it has a signal. Well, what does all that mumbo jumbo gibbery job mean? Well, first off, this currently holds all the energy that I have, right? Well, it's inefficient. It stores it in here, and then the moment that these are full, that's it. It's still wasting coal but it doesn't go anywhere the moment this is disconnected though it stops burning the coal it'll burn up this but it won't run anymore but if i put this here it will start putting the energy into the redstone energy cell this is how much minecraft jewels per tick this energy cell is allowed to receive at any one time currently it's only receiving two minecraft jewels a tick so you'll see this slowly go up every tick by two now obviously it's going up by larger numbers because it's not showing you every tick it's, there's 20 ticks per second so it would just be flying by so it's just totally telling you every second what the new total is this is how much you'll output every tick it's set to 50 well this machine takes a max of four and this machine takes a max of four and any other machine will take its own specific maximum or minimum so if i tell this thing to output only Five, this will not. Well, this may get its full, but if I'm running both these at once, they'll both only use 3.5 Minecraft or 2.5 Minecraft jewels a tick at a time instead of what it really can take. So you can kind of use this as a limiter, and it can go all the way up to 100. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but now we need a way of actually getting the Minecraft jewels to well the units. So that is what this is for. If you put that plus uh, I keep forgetting it is not that it's electrum ingots. Do I have one more? Good, I should. 
uh, plus electrum ingots on the side will give you an energy conduct. It gives you four of them, which is nice because it takes you quite a while to get this stuff. <laughs> um, so if I put this like so, well, oh yeah, I can't put it uh, in the energy because it says empty, just like the other one. So I need to, well, fill it with liquid, well, redstone. Hmm. Conundrum. I can't put liquid redstone in here because I don't have conducts going across. I can't connect buildcraft pipes to it like I could before, but I want to be able to connect these two machines and have power supply to them. Hence why these things are totally awesome. It holds right now 5,300 and so on and so forth of Minecraft jewels. If I shift click this, it takes it off and stores that energy. And then I can just put the energy right here. And as you can see, it's pumping all the energy directly into here. It's not a lot, as you can tell. But now I can actually run the machines, right? Now, I just wanted to show you how it works. I'm actually going to reconnect temporarily these redstone conducts. But I just wanted to show you some of the usefulnesses of its usefulness abilities. Awesome pie. Cheesecake of it. Before I, well melt in more redstone. Now, this needs fuel. Well, fuel is in the form of redstone. It takes 50, uh, which is two redstone bars, which I'm surprised I don't have an that. Did I just put another one in here? Why are you not? Oh, you're not outputting on the right side. <sighs> I was gonna say, I swear I just put enough in there. Now I have three, so that means I need one, two, three so that will give me all of the stuff to put in here and thankfully it doesn't take a lot of power to do so that should be enough for that and I want yes I am going to be wasting a coal sue me well don't really sue me because my lawyers will probably win but you know my minecraft lawyers you'll uh, you'll you'll defend me right Wilson oh totally see you have Wilson to uh to to fight against, and he is totally cruel in the in the in the court of law. He is like <sighs> evil. All right, so I need at least that much. I'm gonna keep the rest for emergency rations. <laughs> All right, I should have one, two, three. Yeah, I need one more. Well, I need this filled. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be it. Uh, is this? totally out of energy it probably is because I'm like running a lot of things on this so let's start working on oh it's nighttime nighttime sleepy time see sleep <laughs> okay so I promised you guys I would at least start working on this I'm sorry once again I am gonna apologize because it has been a very off day for me today like just all of today has been really off car getting hit uh, just total offness all day uh, but I did promise you guys I'd start working on here so let's go ahead and at least get a rough plan of what we're doing I have to get energy right and energy will be put into something and then that energy will be transmitted to well things so this is what I'm thinking we can put chest 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 crafting table then that will be like our basic storage for now over here i want to have energy cell engine engine and then underneath it the water to supply the two and then that leaves room right here for at least that many machines to make it so that it doesn't like completely crowd it at least up to there if I want but I don't know yet so that should be fine so let's go ahead and start that off right now so let's go ahead and put I don't think I have the energy conduit in hand nope it's over here let's take that off the machine and I keep rotating that when I mean to open it God, this thing just is so slow for energy usage. There we go. 
I wonder how much energy it uses for one of those. It uses, whoa, 1,200 Minecraft jewels for one redstone. No wonder it's taking forever. But that's fine. This thing's still kind of running the way I want it to run. Um, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to need a lot more. But let's go ahead and just get this started, right? Because I know you guys are just it, completely impatient. You guys are like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. and you're like, blah, blah. and I'm like, eh. You're like, bleh. Exactly like that, by the way. In my head, probably, but still. Let's go ahead and take some of this stuff out of here and put the pipes in there. And let's grab the bucket. Let's grab the bucket. That's going to cut off the water soon, but I'm going to be cutting the power on that thing before that really comes uh, becomes a concern. So, energy conduit here, which means I want power conduit to go there, right? Because we want energy to go to this power conduit. And this power conduit has its own little coloring system, which is very nice because if you right click it, you'll see it switches and it actually even has a shape. The blue means power goes into this machine. The orange means power comes out of it. Now, this is super useful. So maybe you have engines down here and you wanna put power into here and you don't want it to go the other direction, right? So turn it to this, but I want power to come out of this and into my machines. So let's go ahead and do it in this form. And then let's go ahead and, oh yeah, there's my obsidian, uh, or bedrock protective thingy. And let's get the uh, dirt. There we are. Dirt into there. Okay. And so we want the energy to basically go underneath here. The other thing we got to be aware of is right here and right here, we want to have um, liquid moving to a liquid duct system. So, or not liquid duct system, but some form of liquid system. And I'm stuck in a hole. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of the other stuff. So how are you doing? You are... Huh, I somehow miscounted. And where did, the, oh, I picked him up, I guess. Uh, so that would leave for one more then. So two more, that should be correct, because we have three. All right, um, this system right here I want. And it's still actually producing, it still has water for it. So what I'm gonna do is, we want the energy go into the machines for now because this is going to take quite a while you I'm not using so at all right now so let's not waste energy for that take that out and then I also want stop rot rotating stuff <laughs> I want some transport pipes uh, it could be cobblestone it doesn't really matter um, and then I need so, I'll be right back. Silly me, I accidentally clicked this thing, making it rotate, which caused it to not have the side facing properly. So it wasn't melting it and putting it in here. So I did have enough. I was wondering why the dang thing wasn't like melting into here. But um, yeah, whoopsie daisy. So I'm actually gonna leave the liquid transporter here with this because that's enough for two more energy conduits and it has built-in power. So we're just gonna leave that where it is but while I'm here I'm going to remove this remove that because it doesn't have anything left of value to me remove this and this and leave that water okay let's start with some of this stuff uh, first things first we want this to have two engines there right which means we need some, well, water to be transferred over to those positions. So I'm thinking I'll have water going down here, right? And then across here to this spot right here, maybe. And then go down, that's right there. Oh, well, that's not super fun but that's okay I'll just do that that's weird it's like a pea in solid stone um, 
So I want one bucket there. See what I mean about that's not fun? It's kind of like interfering. Um, and then I have the other bucket over there, but it's actually quicker to just go to this lake. Uh, okay. And then there, that makes an infinite water source, which I will use my aqueous accumulator, right, like so. Now, this will slowly be getting water like it should. And we want to use the water uh, conduits, right? Let's destroy this. Like so. Fill that up. Now, we don't have any more water conduits. Well, worry not, my fellow Americans, Canadians, Europeans, Australians, Chineseans, Japaneseans, Africanians, whoever you are. Uh, I cook some cactus up, and we will use that with the cobblestone transport pipes to make water cobblestone transport pipes. Now, I really don't need to connect the other side yet because we, well, we don't have an engine over there yet, but I will put this here. And as you can see, the gold is super fast, but the cobblestone's really slow. But I'm not really worried about it. And the reason why is because these engines don't take a lot of water at any one time. So if it becomes a problem where it's actually taking, oh, I already have the engine with me, don't I? Yes, I do. If it becomes a problem where my energy is being consumed uh, or the, the uh, water is being consumed slower than it can fill, then yes, I will totally, you know, worry about that. But as you can see, it's filling up with water and it's burning fuel. So I'm not really all that worried about it running out of water anytime soon. Another nice thing about this being that way is, I'm going to totally tell you in another episode, hee hee hee, hidden secrets. What is this madness? But there is a reason why I'm using this type of piping instead of something else. But because I already know that I'm going to be uh, using another pipe, I want to avoid it so the pipe will pretty much go like right here on top of it and then up that way. So I'm going to have to go down one at least or go across one, but I can't because these are half slabs. So you have to imagine that that's a full block right there. And then go across here and up. Now. I'm going to have to remove this, uh, I guess I have to go one further down. Uh, let's go ahead and remove, oh, uh, yes, crescent hammer, there we go. Go there, and then up, and as you can see, I am just short. So I will, off camera, finish that. Uh, but just to save you guys having to watch me craft that, I'll go ahead and do it off camera. But on camera, let's go ahead and figure out some of this stuff. Um, actually, I just needed this. That I probably still need to be removed. Uh, so we will remove some of this stuff and just at least put the machines down. So we want a pulverizer first. And then we want to have the powered furnace. And then we want the induction smelter. So powered furnace, then the induction smelter. Then we'll have the magma crucible. And then at the very end of the machine line, we will have the liquid trans, uh, transposer, uh, this guy right here. But I don't want to use it yet because, like I said, I have enough energy for two more conduits, which I think I can actually produce right now. So let's go ahead and just do that. Ah! <laughs> no, don't go away. We need you, Wilson. Not you, Wilson. The other Wilson. Yes, I know, I said your name, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wilson. All right, I am now starving slowly. Let's eat an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Unless you're a Doctor Who fan, then you should probably still eat apples because, you know, apples are good for you. Okay, so there we go. Now we want energy to go into here, but we want energy to come out of here. So that's how it should be set up. Now, because this thing is slowly storing energy, right? should, there we go, went ahead and powered this up because we have it at max output. And any excess will store into here and it can hold up to 600,000 Minecraft jewels of extra energy. These guys aren't powered yet. All I have to do is get mm, three more. So uh, that's perfect because I actually had 
um, three energy conduits still in the making, I think. And no, I have two more. So yes, we have enough to power all these, which is awesome. One thing we want to make sure we do, it's not mandatory, but at the bottom here, just turn the input off because, well, I mean, hello, it's, it's being connected to energy conduits. <laughs> it has no use other than that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys found this interesting. Uh, by next episode off camera, I will move the rest of this stuff over there. Um, you are completely out of energy, so I can disconnect you now. But we'll uh, go ahead and move the rest of this, my chests, my other stuff over there. <sighs> this was a very confusing and long-winded episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you didn't enjoy, like anyways, because everybody likes the like button. It's like ingrained in our, in our, in our minds. Wilson, do you like the like button? Yes. That's a yes. Anyways, adios.